Hey everyone, welcome to Fan Designs. We are going to make an Octo bracelet this week. Here it is. You can use this one on either side. You can use the gold in the middle or you can turn it over and just have little simple gold bands each way through, whatever way you like it. I like this one, one of my favorites because of the two different ways that you can wear it. And let's get started. For this bracelet, you will need one loom, one hook, one gold finishing band, one C-clip, 12 gold bands, 12 green bands, 12 red bands, and 12 purple bands. When we get started, make sure your red arrow is facing away from you or up. I'm going to go ahead and start with our purple. We're going to start in the bottom middle peg, take it up into the left. Then we're going to stay on that peg and go straight up. From that peg, take it up into the right. And then we're going to start all the way down at the bottom again. And go in the bottom middle up to the right. Straight up from there. And I'm pushing all these bands down because when it comes to looping, it's a little bit easier if they're neat and in order. And then one last to finish that up. Now I'm going to take two gold bands from that bottom middle peg into the middle and then again from the middle to the top. And this is our basic design that we are going to be doing all the way up and I'll be doing different colors. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and turn this around and get started looping our bracelet. We're going to start in the very bottom middle peg. I'm going to go inside that gold band and grab that first green band that's there. It's the middle band on that peg. Pull it up and out to the left. Then you're going to go straight up from there, getting that bottom green band and go straight up. Bottom green band on this peg and up into the right. Now we're going to start over at the bottom, grabbing that green band that's on the bottom there of the peg, bringing it up into the right, and then we're going to go down inside of there and get the green one to go straight up. Grab the next green band and finish your circle. Now we're going to go into the circle that we just did, and we are going to grab that gold band and pull it up to the peg as well. Now we're going to do the same entire pattern all the way down the loop. Make sure you go inside every single band that's in here. You're going to grab the second to bottom band, our top red band on this peg. Let me make sure I'm getting inside all the other bands. Just grabbing the red band that I need. Pull it up and out. It's going to be a little bit tight now because we have a lot of bands on this peg. And pull it up and to the left. And continue this pattern all the way through. should look like right now. We're going to take that last gold band that we have, we're going to use this to finish this off, and that very end middle peg, we're going to stick your hook all the way down, grab a hold of your gold band, keep it in your other hand, we're going to bring it up through and make a slip knot. Ah, it's not wanting to go. <laughs> have to try that again. There's so many rubber bands on it it's not wanting to to move and hook. 
There we go, we got it. All right, now you can start taking off your bracelet. And there you go, here's your Octo Bracelet. Let's go ahead and hook our C-clip on to both ends. And I like this design because you can kind of actually wear it either way. You can wear it this way, where there's only one single gold band in between each color. Or if you like the gold, you can make it more of the center piece of their bracelet and have that in the middle of each of your colors. So either way that you like it, you can even wear it both ways and have two different bracelets in one, which is pretty cool. If you tried this bracelet, I would love to see your design, what colors you make, how you make it unique to yourself. Please go over to Instagram and tag us at Band Designs and show us your creations. We would love to see them. You can go click on the next bracelet in this series and learn how to make the pinnacle bracelet. And also make sure you subscribe so you can get new rubber band designs every Friday. And we'll see you next week.